Welcome to the China Club. Anyway, it's Friday night. I'm going to put these door lock arms on. Uh, so I don't get sidetracked tomorrow from sanding on this. So I'm going to do this now so it's done. And then I'll be like, hey, I don't have to do that. I can keep working on this Chevelle. I won't come over here and be like, oh, I need to pull these side markers off and paint those black. Nope, that won't happen. I won't be like, hey, let's pull the seats out and sand the bottom side of the roof and the floor and put all the sound deadening on. Nope, not gonna do that either. I'm just gonna sand, sand, sand. Anyway, so these doors I've had together and apart 15 times. I'm gonna take them back apart again and hook up the door locks. I didn't have these pieces. These are the wrong door locks I stuck in there just to fill the hole. Car hasn't moved since I put them in, so now I can take doors back apart and swap them out for the right locks that match the key. And uh, yeah, should paint them black. Probably won't. I mean, I could. It's not gonna wear off because we don't even need to use the key, but unless the battery's dead for some reason. I uh, put these rubber bumpers in, but didn't put the weather strips in yet. It's another thing I can not do tomorrow. Put the weather strips in. So anyway, I'm going to take these doors apart and hook up the locks. And uh won't know if they work or not because I always forget to bring the key out here with me. So there's that. I won't show you any of this. And uh, tomorrow I'll... Update you with some sanding stuff. One door done, locks in, key works, and you know, one of the reasons I don't want to paint this car is because you know, it's so easy to just touch some stuff up. You got, got some chips, you got some scratches. I mean, just a blender out, and uh, once that dries, you'll never know. I'll show you when it dries. So, yeah, I mean, that is looking better already. So, both door locks are in and done. Doors are back together. I did away with the custom angled door opener handles. Stuck with the uh, angled armrest, however, on this side. Took the rear side marker bezels off. Painted those trim black. So, uh, yeah. That's uh, a wrap for tonight. And hopefully a wrap on this thing period this weekend other than hopefully maybe driving it. Uh, maybe I'll take it to the licensing place and get my plate transferred over. Cause I bought a original 1970 Washington plate. Um, because apparently, well, even if I could get the collector plate for it, I want to put a different plate on it anyway, because, you know, anyway, Washington, we can't get plates because apparently they, uh, replaced all the equipment in the prisons and, uh, can't get caught back up on license plates, I guess. I don't know. Probably because they're letting all the prisoners out constantly, so they have nobody to make them. I don't know. Anyway. Unbelievable. I'm busy. I'm busy. I'm busy. Right. I oh boy, I just wanted to update on everyone on the situation here. Of how old you are. And power steering onto your stuff. Alright. Shit, believe it. Jeff would be happy. It only took 13 years. Finally got power steering. Best thing I ever did. Best thing you would ever do is clean this up under here a little bit. That'd be the best thing you ever did. Well, that and fix those suit shocks so you wouldn't have to hold it. Yeah, it'd be tasty. Anyway, driving around with an inch of toe in, apparently. Trash did. 
Did you hear when I pulled the bolt out of my tire the other night? I thought you were outside. It's pretty loud. Pop? No. Scared you. No. Yeah. Scared her though. She was like, wow, that doesn't sound good. I was like, yeah. It happens. <laughs> I did like how I found the old plug kit though when I went to put That's the new one away. That was fun. <laughs> I, I, was, I had it, I put it in like five different spots. I was like, no, nah, no, I won't find it here. No, I won't find it there. I'll put it here. Oh wait, there's the old one. The camera. Uh, watch it later. Well, this one's definitely turned in now. So I think you went the wrong way. Uh, maybe, you, I don't I didn't look at it before. Oh, why is your truck rolling backwards? Oh, man, that's fucked up. Oh, boy. Come well, on, as you can see, everything's going sweet here. Just doing a little alignment job. Apparently nobody had these off before. Thanks to Jim, this uh, old beast here is running perfectly right it's, now. It's the new daily drive that I'm not going to drive. I'll drive on her. We stole the carburetor off of this I mean, engine. We didn't really steal. Over here. We replaced. <laughs> <laughs> it had a demon on there. It really wasn't running too good. Right. So we put this 750 Holly on here. And what do you know? She runs perfect now. Demon was too nice for us. Yeah, Demon was too good, so we're just going to give that to my buddy <laughs> on that motor over there. That's more of a racing motor. Yeah, it's too high performance. So, uh, anyway, I've always had problems with this thing. It could never run right. This, uh, I'm not going to show you, but it's not the new style Demon. This is the old style Demon that uh, they used to be cool, real I guess. Good one. Yeah, real good. Real good ones. <laughs> Got some gauges for that thing too. <clears throat> Don't really want to put them in. Well, a little bit more than you used to. Yeah, well, I kind of want to now because the truck's running so good. Might have to buy tabs on her. When do you think the last time the tabs expired? Twenty-one. Five or twenty-one. That's three years. Oh yeah, Alright, go for your test drive. Go change. I thought we were going straight to the Mexican restaurant. <laughs> oh yeah, I'll meet you there. I'll take this one. <laughs> That's what I thought. I don't know why this is hooked up. It's dead. Oh. Stubby cakes all the way around. We'll go from the Mexican restaurant to get other <laughs>
of the roof, this corridor, the door, this fender, up to that top body line. It's all blocked to 120. Next step would be re guide coating it and 220ing it. However, I have this sand through I caused here because I wasn't paying attention to what I was doing. And I have one down here around this marker light. Also, well, that's not a critical area, but it'd be nice to spray some more poly on that and that. So, do I guide coat this, block it out with 220? Or do I spot these in first? I should probably spot these in first. Which I'm not going to do right now because it's a nice day and uh, neighbors are out off and on so don't need to be masking and trying to spray anything right now. So I think I will, here's my problem, I wanted to do that, block this side out, let it down, move the car around or move it over and then block the other side. So if I let this down, then that's going to make it sanding and priming this down here a little harder. Not impossible. I'd much rather do it when it was like this. Um, side note, you should have the car on suspension when you're blocking out the body like this. But I know it's, it's fine. But as a general rule, don't do what I do. So, I could skip that for now, wait till later, prime it later in the day, and continue on with this trunk. This trunk's only half done. Or just let it down and do the other side. I don't know. I'll let you know later what I decide. Um, yeah, this 120 step takes forever because it's really when you're dialing in everything. The body lines, the things, and the stuff. And, yeah. Anyway, that's a good talk. I got these gauges for the from my buddy a while back for the uh, truck. So I was trying to, you know, convince Jimmy to put these in, but uh, he hasn't uh, came over and did that yet. But that'd be nice. Okay, back to sanding. So I finished blocking the trunk with 120. What's funny about this trunk is it was really nice. I pretty much didn't have to do anything to it, but a couple minor small spots of filler. When you know, that spot was right here. And I, I hit metal, blocking it out. So I'm gonna spot some primer in over that too. Um, yeah, got into the filler, went through to the metal. It's straight now. I just hit metal, but uh, there's nothing left to sand for the other two grits, so I gotta spot some on that. <clears throat> Who did this body work? Shh, amateurs. So instead of letting the car down or doing anything, I uh, just continued on starting to block this side. I got this quarter panel down, down to this body line. And uh, I guess I could do the top of the door top of the fender before I lift the side of the car up. I still want to, I may come back out here tonight. I don't have any, anything all day, so I'm going to stop for now. It's like 4.30, 5 o'clock. I don't know what time it is. I might come back out here when it gets dark and uh, spray some primer on these spots. Or I might not. Um, that might be it for this video. So, uh, yeah. Making progress takes forever. Uh, when you're, you know, I could have just, you know, I could have hacked it out real quick and everybody would have been happy except for me because it wouldn't have been right and it wouldn't look like I knew it should look. So, yeah, more sanding to come. <laughs>